what is good everyone to again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to create party poster now for those of you who have been asking scissor how do you create your background i'm going to be showing you one of my tricks today so if you need the exercise file for this tutorial simply make use of the link in the description section of this video yeah i know the character's image is not cropped in the exercise file but if you want to learn how to crop images with the pen tool simply make use of the link hop here so sit back relax and keep watching i'm going to click a new document now and i'm going to say new here and i'm going to call this the dj mix type or let's just call it mix and my um, width is going to be 720 height is going to be 900 because I'm posting this on Instagram and I'm using the Instagram portrait frame size okay then my resolution is going to be 72 and I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and I'm going to select the create button then I'm going to create a new layer now I'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer icon and I'm going to call this red um, BG okay and I'm going to select the OK button then I'm going to select my color picker here so I'm going to use this um, red here and the code is AB0D1E and I'm going to select the OK button. Next is to apply that to the layer by holding on Alt and Backspace. Right. So I'm going to create a new layer again and I'll call this dark red, right? Because I'm trying to create a vignette effect here. Now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to select my brush to here and I'll go to the brush settings. Then I'm going to turn, I'm going to select the soft round brush turn off shape dynamic and check transfer option here but i'm using a graphics tablet so my control here is going to be on pen pressure but if you don't have a graphics tablet you can turn down your flow to eight and you're still going to achieve the same move all right so the whole idea of doing this is to be able to control the strength i mean the visibility of your brush okay then i'm going to make my brush bigger i need to First, go to my color picker here and just you know use a dark red here and i'm gonna apply that somewhere around here like so and let's just put some of it here and that's it select the text tool and just click once and i'm going to put the name of the dj here i'll make this bigger by going to the property tab here and i'm gonna make this um let's say 36 if you can't find your property tab simply go to windows here and activate it here all right once you click on it you find it here okay so then i'm going to select my move to here and i'll make this real big by activating the free transform on it and i'm going to hit the enter key then i'm going to change the color of this to dark red and i'm going to select the ok button and the font i would like to use here is going to be fonts to make sure i'm on the right layer before applying that to the layer so i'm going to use font here right so there this is it so then i'm going to make this real big hit the enter key and position this somewhere around here and i'm going to make a copy of this and just position this here now what i'm trying to do now is to create um a type pattern for my project part of how i make my project look interesting is through creating a type um, pattern background all right then uh, i think this is okay like so and so i'm going to shift select the text layer and i'll activate free transform right click and select q and i'm going to zoom out and just push this up like so and position this here and i'll right click on it again and select free transform and just make this bigger like so all right then i'm going to position this somewhere around here and hit the enter key like so now we need to put this in a group i'm going to hit ctrl g on my keyboard to put that in a group and i'm going to call this text then i'm going to drag and drop my grunge image in now so i'm going to drag i'm going to start with this all right and so i'm going to rotate this all right and i'm going to make this real big like so and hit the enter key then i'll change the blend mode of this to screen and i'm going to dial down the strength of my background by reducing the opacity like so and i'm going to drag my next image in like so and i'm going to rotate this like i did previously and make it bigger and hit the enter key then i'm going to change my blend mode to color dodge reduce the strength of this a bit like so 
we're going to reduce the opacity because it's kind of strong and for this i'm going to make a copy of this just so as to just make that um, effect that brush effect more stronger uh, so for this let's just reduce the opacity a bit more all right this is okay so i'm going to create a new layer by holding down alt and click on the new layer icon i'm going to type noise here and i'm going to change my blend mode here to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option and select the ok button then i'll go to filter and i'm going to select noise and say add noise then i'm going to make this uh much like so right now i'm going to select the ok uh, button here drag the picture of our dj so i'm going to drag that and drop here like so and i'm going to make this a bit bigger like so all right and this should go down here a bit like so then i'm going to zoom in we need to add depth to the picture so as to you know make it blend with the look of our of our project all right because the way it is now the picture is too soft so we need to give it that uh, you know that rugged look so then i'm going to make a copy of this because it's always good to have backup so i'm going to call this bck then i'm going to right click on this and say rasterize and I'll make a copy of this again and I'll go to filter and select um, all that here and select high pass. So I'm going to make my radius here 2.6 and select the OK button and I'll go to the blend mode here and change this to linear light. And I'm going to reduce the opacity like so. Now this is making sense already. So I'm going to clip this to the, the initial layer. By holding on alt and place my mouse in between the two layers and click all right then i'm going to activate curve here and i'm going to click on the clip icon here and i'm going to drag this down so as to add more depth to the shadow like so then i'll create another again and this time i'm going to call this highlight all right it's always good to name your layers okay so i'm going to call this shadow okay then i'm going to select the highlight curve and i'm going to click on the clip icon and this time i'm just going to dial this up like so now this is affecting the shadow so we need to um, bring back the shadow so to do that i'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style then i'm going to move under the underlying layer here i'm going to move the slider so what i'm going to do now is to hold down alt and break the slider and this should go this way and um, let's just move this a bit more to this side all right now so i'm going to select the ok button so let's see the before and after so this is the before and this is the after now you see we're beginning to see the details on the hooded and then the face cap all right then i'm going to put this in a group now by hitting ctrl g all right uh so but i think i still need to just um you know find a way to make these details here more visible so what i'm going to do again is i'm going to double click on the uh, layer of the shadow curve and I'm going from the um, highlight all right and I'm gonna hold on alt and break this like so and I'm gonna move this here and move this here so we have this on the highlight highlighted path of the image and so this is it now and um, so this is okay all right I'm gonna hold on alt and create a new layer and call this shape all right and I'm gonna select the enter key here then I'm going to select the um, hand tool here, all right, and I'm going to just draw a shape behind my subject here, like so. Now, the shape doesn't have to be perfect because making it perfect is not going to make this uh, project look interesting, all right. Now, we the major reason why I'm doing this is because of the target audience, all right. So, I need to be able to do something that, you know, will draw their, their attention. So then I'm going to go straight to my fill here and choose this shade of grateful. So for those of you that care to know the color code, you can just check it here is 90EB0A. Then I'm going to select the OK button and select my move tool. And then I'm going to move this down a bit and activate the fill transform and just, you know, reduce it a bit like so and select the enter key. Then I'm going to create another layer again and call this shade 2 because... We need to have two different shapes here, all right? So I'm going to select the OK button. And then for this next shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool again. And I'm just going to gently draw a shape here, like so. We can, we can 
make a duplicate of the very first one we did but doing it that way is not going to make this look um the way i want it so i'm going to just stop right here and this time i'm going to use the same green because i prefer the green to be behind the you know the dark um color so i'm going to come here and just pick this color and then we have this so for this green here i'm just going to make that a bit bigger and just push this down Or what we can do again is to just fine tune this so i'm going to select the direct selection tool here and i'm just going to move this out here and this should go down i'm going to create a new layer again and i'm going to call this scribble and i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to switch to this green here because we're using the same um, color here to create our scribble effect. So I'm going to select the brush tool, select, go to the brush settings, and go to the brush tip and use a soft round, soft round brush and turn off transfer this time. And if your flow is still set to eight, please remember to make it hundred. All right. Then I'm going to reduce my brush size. All right. Let's see. All right. This is okay. So I'm going to move this here now. My smooth needs to go back to zero. Open the folder again, and this time I'm just going to call, I'm just going to call this dude, and then I'm going to drag my scribble image in here, and I'm going to rotate it this way, and position this. Or let's just leave it the way it is, and I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So let the enter key and change this to screen. All right, and I'm going to reduce the opacity on it like so, and this should be inside the group, and I'm going to hold on Alt and click this. Because I only want this to affect the to be on the face of my subject here. Then I'm going to add a layer mask here because I'm seeing the scribble effect on the face here. So I'm going to switch to black here, and I'll select the soft round brush, make my brush bigger, and then take it out from the face. All right. Okay, so it's time for me to start placing my text. So I'm going to start with the title because most time I always prefer to start with the title because the title is the first thing I want people to see. So I'm going to lock this um, text layer because not locking it may affect, you know, uh, you see what I'm trying to say here. So I'm going to lock it. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to click here to just paste my text and I'm going to drag it back here because if I try to type here, um this text group layer is not going to allow me to do that all right so i'm going to position this here now and i'm going to go to the property tab here and change this to change this to squeeze and select squeeze here right and this should be above the layers here i'll make this bigger by you know activating the free transform on it and just make it bigger like so all right then i'm going to check i'm going to click on the uh, cap button here because i don't want this to be on cap all right so i'm going to take out dj now and select the text now and i'm going to pick this color here select the okay button and i'm going to make this real uh, you know big like so all right and hit the enter key okay and i'll make a copy of this then i'll paste the dj text here like so and i'll make this smaller make this smaller like so this should be here all right and all right so this my dj text here is too slim okay, so i'm going to use swiss uh, bt swiss 921 bt and i'm going to reduce the size of this and just position this here all right this should be here and i'm going to change the color to the same green here I'm gonna draw a shape here, all right. I'm gonna move this here and change this to no fill and change my fill to black. And um, this should be somewhere here. Now that's good. Then um, this should be behind the mixtape text. Make a copy of the mixtape text now and position this here. Activate the free transform and just you know make this smaller. And I'm going to type present here. Right, should be present. Okay, now I need to now make this cap and change the color to white. Right, select it. 
OK button here and all right. So one of the reasons why it's always good to change the color of your present text is um, so as to separate it from the main title. So then I'm going to make a copy of this and make a copy of present again. Next is to position this above all the layers here and this should go up here. And this can now be the name of the company hosting the event. So I'm going to copy that and just paste this here. And this can be a bit bigger. All right, we can just make this a bit bigger. Or well, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Okay. So I'm going to make the presents smaller. All right. Because um, presents shouldn't be sharing the same size with the brand's name. So I'm going to. Activate the free transform and just move this here. Make sure make sure this aligns with the tail of um, the letter I dot. So we're gonna move this a little bit like so. We can even make this a bit smaller. Alright, that's good. And then I'm gonna activate the free transform on, on the present text and this should be here. So now for this, we can now push this down to somewhere here. This down here like so and we can make this smaller like so and this is okay and this can be behind the title all right and um I'll make this a bit smaller well, let's just take off the tracking all right and i'll change the color of this to the same green we have here or you know what, let's just make the Razi the green color. All right, and select the OK button and activate the face transform and just make this touch the letter D. Like so, all right, this is beautiful. Let's see if we hide this because it's really affecting my typing here. All right, this is good. So I'm going to paste this. So please remember to turn off the um, background text before placing your text. All right, then I'm going to change this to Caletto. These are one of my lovely fonts. All right, then I'm going to turn off cap here and I'll make this bigger. Like so, with the free transform, I'm going to make position this somewhere here for now. I'm going to make it a bit bigger again. Be here and I'm going to select the enter key, but I don't want any tracking on this. All right, no tracking, and this should be here. Uh, make a copy of this and this should be the end. This. Then I'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style and I'll go straight to stroke here and I'll choose the same color again and this time I'll make the size of my stroke bigger like so all right I'm gonna select the OK button but I don't want this text to be white so it has to be black all right then I'm gonna select the OK uh, button then the next thing we're doing is to put the select the rectangle shape for the present and also with the present text and hit ctrl J and this should be here like so and i'm going to make this bigger not too big though all right then to virtually transform on this and just position this here now i'm going to paste the venue and just paste that here like so okay and we can even still make this a bit bigger all right so i'm going to select the and select the venue and just make sure this is well aligned like so now i need to make this my title here more abstract so to do that i'm going to create a new layer and just call this sparks all right and hit the ok button and then i'm going to select my brush tool here and go to my brush settings and select, activate the hard brush here all right i'm going to make this smaller to about let's say one is fine and I'm going to zoom in and let's just draw more sparks on this to make this look more tough. All right, then I'm going to just draw my spark here. Now, when you're doing this, try not to make it too perfect because making it too perfect is, going to, is not going to help.
I'm looking at make adding more drama to this side of uh, my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer again and just call this scribble. Let me just call this scribble, all right? So OK button. Then I'm going to check the shape dynamic option here. And under my shape dynamic, I'm going to make sure my control is set to um, pen pressure. But if you don't have a graphics template, you can just you know, change this to um, um, fade. Yeah, you can use fade and then you're still going to achieve the same move. So I'm going to go back to pen pressure here. And I'll go to the brush tip and just, you know, make this bigger. All right. And this should be, let's say, 8. But if you don't have a graphics template, your settings is going to be different from mine. All right. Then I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to just gently draw scribble here i'm just gonna scribble here all right make it smaller and just smaller again and just you know, draw scribble here like so okay then um so the next thing i'm going to do again is to create a new layer and call this black okay and i'm going to select the okay button and this time i'm going to make my brush bigger now you need to make sure that your you know color picker here which is your foreground here is set to black and i'm gonna select, gonna select the ok button and i'm going to just draw here now we need to now you know increase our smooth here because you know we need to be able to do something more smooth kind of rough shape now listen guys this should not be too perfect all right try not to make it too too neat because making it neat is not going to help Alright, so I'm going to create a new layer here again, and I'm going to call this scribble. Okay, and I'm going to use my brush size and just put this here, like so, like so, like so. Alright, then this should be behind this, like so, and I'm going to move the night text with the scribble down because I'm losing the letter P here, so I'm going to just move this down, then I'm going to continue with my stroke here because I did not apply to the letter P here so I'm gonna just do that here now and I'm gonna make this look more rugged all right I'm gonna put everything here in a group so I'm gonna just select everything and, go, and I'm gonna hit ctrl G like so, so let's see all right this is good so I'm going to move this above this, all right, and I'm going to call this title. Then I'll, I'll activate the free transform now and right click and say skill and I'm going to skill this this way. All right, and um, let's see if I move this down here like so. I think I still need to just add more, you know, stroke here. So I'm going to just make this side thicker like so, move this thicker. So for the um, DJ look here, I think I see just need to do one more thing here. So I'm going to select the selective color and I'm going to make sure that my color mode here is set to black because I'm trying to create more fade effect on his face so as to just um, make this look more, you know, hip hop like. All right. So I'm going to move this to, let's say, 12. Uh, this is OK now. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to drag my scribble png file here and drop here and hit the enter key then 
clip this inside the mixtape layer so i'm going to hold on alt and click to clip it inside the mixtape layer and i'm going to do the same thing by going to the night text here and i'm going to do the same thing position my mouse in between the scribble layer and the night text layer and click and i'm going to move this to the side and then for the dj text make a copy again position this here hold on alt click and just move this here i'm going to go back to the scribble layer again i think i still need to make this look more interesting so i'm going to select the, col the green color again and select the brush tool and make my brush a bit bigger and just add this here okay you know what let's just create a new layer for this all right so i'm going to create a new layer and just i'm going to add the, the time and date so i'm going to quick select the text to here and then click here and just paste and i'm going to change this to white all right so i'm using the swiss 921 bt but i'm going to use the swiss 9 911 here all right swiss all right then i'm going to choose this okay this is okay and i'm going to turn this to cap and add more lead into this all right so this there should be space between them and then i'm going to make a copy of this and just put tuesday it should be on tuesday and then i'll paste it and this should be above this and activate the future so i just make it smaller and this should be here all right then i'll uh, this here all right this is good so then i'm going to make this bigger and this should be bigger than the tuesday text and i'm going to shift select the two layers and activate the free transform and say skill and they should go up here like so uh this is too much so i'm just going to put it down a bit like so activate the free transform and select free transform here and i'm going to make this rest a bit on my subjects body so i'm gonna move this here and let's see all right should be well aligned all right this is good make a copy of these layers and this should be here it should be smaller should be as big as the um the date and time i'm going to change the color of my reservation text to um green i'll create a new layer here i'm going to call this scribble i'm going to make sure this is set to black so now the brush to reduce my brush size and just add scribble to this and i'm going to turn this down to zero for this because it's too, the text is too small so i'm going to add track into this so as to make the text visible all right this is okay um let's just make it bigger a bit the reservation text bigger okay then i'm going to position this here all right this is good uh so this should be behind this so i'm gonna copy i'm gonna make a copy excuse me of this and this should be here all right and i'm gonna call this so the red carpet is gonna be zero eight and for this we can just add a stroke here all right and this should be green it's a bit bigger let's put this out and it should be green and it should be okay and i'm going to position this here like so we can even make a copy of this and move this down so it's not called just make this black and this can be here like so and for the scribble we can just select the brush tool and let us add more drama here so we can make a copy of this and put this above the project like so and just reduce the opacity like so 
But right now, the idea is to make this look like a paper kind of um, design. All right, so I'm going to drag my uh, tear effect here, and I'm only going to select the upper tear effect here and hit Ctrl J and drag this to my project like so and just you know position this here and i can make a copy of this and can just position one another one here and make a copy again and rotate this then this can be here like so and the last part here is to stand visible the project and i'll go to filter sharpen and say smart sharpen so i'm trying to create what i call contrast on the pixels so then i'm gonna make my amount 128 radius is going to be 0 0.6 and reduce noise is going to be 9 and i'm going to select the ok button and look at this this is our final project i'm sure you enjoyed this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video i'll see you again in the next one peace